Hey everybody, it's Mama J, and we are back with our American Bandstand box. So, last week we unboxed it, we showed everything that came in it. This week we're going to start opening some packs. American Bandstand, there are eight cards per pack. There's a mail-in thing, but these are from 1993. These are 30 years old. Okay, well... I guess this year, 31 years old, right? Any prizes, anything like that, you probably can't get anymore. I don't know. But we're going to go ahead and we're going to bust open two packs. All right, let's go. We're going to go through what we got here. I am not going to read the backs because as you noticed on the one card, there is a lot of info on the back of these. I will read the trivia questions. The answers are on different cards. If I know it, I'll give it. All right, but I may not know it. Or actually, maybe I won't give it. That way you guys can guess down below what it is. You know, just for fun. Uh, Dick Clark. And the trivia question on Dick Clark is, The Stroll was a song recorded by the group for the dance of the same name. The group's name was A, The Drifters, B, The Tempo, C, The Diamonds. Answer on the back of card number 27 is what it says. <laughs> and, um, and then it gives us the answer to card number 77. This card is Annette Funicello. Annette Funicello, you know, she was part of the Mickey Mouse Club, but she also did Skippy Peanut Butter commercials. I remember as a kid coming home from the beach, me and a couple of my friends were in the back seat. My mom was driving and we're like, oh, look, it's... The peanut butter lady. And they were filming a commercial at the park that we had to drive by. Uh, let's see. The trivia question. American Bandstand was seen on this network. It was A, NBC, B, CBS, or C, ABC. All right. Next card. Oh, this is a nice one. Look at there. Fabian. Every girl's dream back in the day. Trivia question. Patent leather shoes for girls and boys and guys was a fashion trend in the 50s, the 60s, or the 80s. All right, next card. Ooh, Buddy Holly. All right, Buddy Holly's trivia on the back. The Ray A record segment of Bandstand scores ranged between A, 35 to 98, B, 50 to 95, or C, 1 to 10. All right, next card. Ooh, another Dick Clark. And this one, The Twist, was a number one record for Chubby Checkers. Twice, if in between, he had another hit called A, Let's Twist Again, B, Twist and Shout, or C, The Jerk. <laughs> the Jerk. There was a movie called The Jerk. I'm pretty sure that was what it was called. Uh, the Bill Black Combo. I, I'll be honest, I don't know who they are. Smoke Gets In Your Eyes was a number one song for this group in 1959. They were A, The Coasters, B, The Drifters, or C, The Platters. All right, next card. We got Cool and the Gang. And our trivia. In 1958, this group had a big hit with this song, Short Shorts. The group was A, The Royal Teens, B, The Coasters, or C, The Ponytails. All right, next one. Oh, good. I was hoping I'd get a Devo card, so that's pretty awesome. All right, we got Devo. Uh, in 1977, Disco was the dance craze. A famous movie makes the premiere. The movie was The Rebel, Star Wars, or E.T. All right, what is this? Let's see. This says Special Offer, Country Classic Series 1. Free, select a card. Look for Country Classic Series 1. Uh, Oh, yeah. This is, <laughs> this tells you about the country classic ones, I guess, trading cards you can get. But again, this was made in 1993, so these are older like these are, I'm sure. I, I don't know if they're easy or hard to find. But, all right, let's get to that second pack. I went ahead and cut the end off because it makes it so much easier. And in this second pack, oh, we got Connie Francis. And we got the call letter for the local station American Bandstand originally broadcast from was A, W-A-B-C, B, K-V-I-L, or C, W-F-I-L. Next card, oh, it's Clarence Henry. And then we have a dance called the Bunny Hop was made popular on American Bandstand in the 50s, the 70s, or the 80s. All right, next card is Trent Lopez. 
1957, Paul Anka appeared on American Bandstand. Paul Anka appeared on American Bandstand and sang Diane. How old was he? 17, 19, or 15? Dick Clark and the kids, him sitting in the audience like he always did while he talked to people in the audience. Uh, American Bandstand's 40th anniversary show was televi televised in A, 92, B, 88, or C, 90. All right, next one, Tommy Sands. Trivia. The Funky Chicken was a popular dance in the late 50s. True or false? All right, we got, oh, Jan and Dean. They were the other surfing duo like the Beach Boys. Well, the kids danced to the records. Dick Clark was often seen, A, on the phone, B, looking at the next record, or C, filing records. <laughs> All right, we got, oh, we got Peter Frampton. This number one hit originally received the lowest rating possible, 35, on Rated Record. It was A, Ahab the Arab, the Chipmunk Song, or Monster Mash. I'm not really sure what A is. Ahab the Arab. Ahab the Arab. I don't know what that is. So I'm going to say A, but I that one I really don't know. So that's why I'm guessing with you guys. Don't take my guess. Um, Bill Haley. There's Bill Haley. And his trivia question is the song Memphis. was a big hit for this performer. His name is A. Trini Lopez. B. Johnny Rivers. Or C. Chuck Berry. And then we got another one of those country cards to get the country ones. All right. So out of all those cards, which one did you really like? I dug the Devo and I dug the Peter Frampton. Those would probably be two that I really liked. I mean, there were a lot I liked, but those would probably be the most memorable. So let me know what you like down below. And don't forget, leave that comment. Get you entered in a giveaway. There will be a giveaway at the end of this series. We will be doing a lot more series giveaways for our viewers and our monthly giveaways for Patreons, and Patreons can also enter in the viewer giveaways, but it's just going to be easier that way in the long run. So there will be a lot of viewer giveaways based on series. All right, so let me know what you think of these. Do you like these cards? They do have another set of cards coming, and I'm really hoping they're as cool as I think they are. They'll blow these out of the water. Stick around, check out my Patreons, and don't forget, Follow this series and leave your comments so you can win a giveaway at the end. You never know what it will be. All right, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.